Hello guys, long time no see. Today I will show you the brand new Windows 10 anniversary version. It nearly took me like two days to successfully update my computer. And you, you can see here the, the new Windows 10 anniversary version has a lot of beautiful features and you can check it out um, in, uh, and when you Google it. And today, I mainly show you how to install Bash, which is embedded in the Windows 10 version. And first of all, you have to open the setting. And we have go to the, I think it's the uh, update. And here we have a lot of options. We go to the for developers. And you have to choose developer mode. mode. And this will give you some permission to uh, get access to the Ubuntu Bash. And when you click on this, you will install any sign up and use advanced development features. And then you can type in the search bar here is Windows feature. Turn Windows feature on and off. And here you will see a window and scroll down. Here will be a Windows subsystem for Linux beta. And click and check this uh, uh, Linux beta and click OK. You will get a, a prompt that notice you the computer will reboot. And you just click to restart a computer. And then after you restarting your computer, you can type the CMD here and type bash because I already installed the uh, Ubuntu bash here so uh, you can see there's the uh, the original bash which is embedded in our Windows operation system and the other like command is just like those in the Linux system and you can do whatever you want in your Windows version, and you don't have to install like the uh, um, the virtual machine in your ma in your computer to run a Linux system. And here you can also see that there is bash on Ubuntu on Windows. This is you can also access to the uh, bash through this command, and the, it it also the same thing. But it's, I, I still I'm still searching the uh, to find out how to use this because it is it is might be a little different from the uh, original Linux and the uh, directory here is a little bit confusing I think so I will check it out oh and the last thing is when I it because it took me nearly two days to update my computer the problem is. I always encountering this blue screen and the problem the stop code is like page the page fold in non paged area and I finally found that the problems is due to the a third party software which uh, I use to update my drivers and if you also encounter this problem when you updating your computer to Windows 10 anniversary version, you just need to uninstall that third-party software. And there might be some conflicts due to that software. That's it. Hope it, hope this video can help you guys to access to the uh, original bash in Windows 10 anniversary version. Thanks.